when you were going to graph a rational function. First thing you do is always set the denominator equal to zero. This gives you the domain and your vertical asymptotes. Next thing you do is find your horizontal asymptote. You can also get a few points. Uh, your intercepts are perfect. You can find your x-intercepts. Now, when you let y equal zero, you do that by setting the numerator equal to zero because that's the only way a fraction can equal zero. And then you can find your y-intercept by letting x equal zero. So let's look at an example. Let's say we had f of x equals 6x plus 2 over 3x minus 1. Step one, when we put 3x minus 1 equals 0, that would be 3x equals 1, x equals 1 third. So the domain is every number except for 1 third. Negative infinity to 1 third, union 1 third to infinity. Make sure you use parentheses here, because the whole point is to leave that out. And it means that our vertical asymptote is the line x equals one third. One, two, three, so here's one third. For your horizontal asymptote, because the degree of the top and the bottom is the same, we use the coefficients. So that's going to be the horizontal line y equals 6 over 3, which is y equals 2. 1, 2. So we've got a vertical asymptote here. Your x-intercept you get by setting the numerator equal to zero. So if we put 6x plus 2 equals zero, subtract the 2 and then divide by 6 is a negative one-third. So we've got the point back one-third zero. So if here's the one, that would be approximately here. And the y-intercept would be where x is zero. If I put zero in for my x's here, I'm going to get y equals 2 over negative 1. So it'd be 6 times 0 plus 2 over 3 times 0 minus one, so those are zeros, so it's just negative two. That's the y-intercept, so x is zero, y is negative two, over zero, down two. So this gives me a couple of points in this quadrant. So I know the graph's gonna go kind of like this. Okay, so if I need to find a point over here, the graph's either gonna be up here or down here. There are some graphs where you could have both of them above or both of them below. So let me find one more point. Let me just plug in a one. Let me get F of one, just to see what's going on over here. 
f of one would be six times one plus two over three times one minus one would be six plus two is eight over three minus one is two is four so the point one four over one up four would be over here so that tells me that this part of the graph is going to be up here. 